Recording? Yes, that's right. Our paper textbooks a thing in the past. As of January 2012, USA Today reporter Greg Topo advises that the U.S. President would like to have every student in the United States with an electronic book in their hands. Whether it's an iPad, a Kindle, a Nook, or other similar device such as this tablet. I know that I prefer to use electronic textbooks. I experienced my first electronic book a few years ago when I purchased my smartphone. With just a swipe of a finger, I had access to millions of books within just a few minutes. Even in my college courses today, I use electronic books. These experiences have changed my opinion of tablets being used in the classroom. Today, I will explain to you why tablets are more beneficial to students. Let's examine the first benefits of using tablets over paper textbooks. First of all, replacing textbooks in the classroom can save us money. Who doesn't like to save money? According to the FCC, in a 2012 report, primary schools, which are K-12 schools, spent over $7 million on textbooks last year, and a lot of that material is outdated. Proponents against the use of tablets also may suggest that electronic devices are more expensive than paper textbooks. However, like many electronic devices, tablet prices have dropped significantly, and they continue to drop each year. Patrick Thibodeau from a 2011 Computer World article notes that the average price of a tablet will be around $263 or less by the year 2015. However, I know I've even seen them recently advertised for $79 or less. The financial savings related to the use of tablets in the classroom is a major benefit, but now let's look at the cost saved by our environment. Replacing textbooks with the tablets can be better for our environment. According to the Green Press Initiative, over 200,000 tons of paper was used last year or is used each year in the manufacturing of textbooks. That's a huge quantity of paper in an abundance of trees. With the use of electronic books, we can lessen the use of paper products, and in turn, we can help to protect, protect our environment. Using tablets to benefit the environment is cr crucial to our survival in the long run, but it's not the only ben benefit available to us. Let's examine another benefit. Replacing textbooks with tablets are more beneficial to our students. And unless you live in the Amazon, everybody knows how heavy a textbook can be. <laughs> According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, last year over 13,700 children were treated for backpack-related injuries. What are in those backpacks? Textbooks, of course. In addition, tablets may also help students improve their scores on standardized tests. Well-known textbook publisher, which I think many of you may be familiar with, Hofton Miffin Harcourt, they hired an independent company to come in and they studied the effects of using an electronic version of the book versus a paper textbook, and they did this in a California middle school. In the, st in the study, the students that used the paper textbook version scored 20% lower than the students that used the electronic version. That's a significant percentage if you ask me. And according to the reports, the students that used the electronic version actually had an advantage over the students using the paper textbook. First of all, the students' pa parents were able to assist the students more because they, ac they had access to videos, or material that the students didn't just, they didn't understand. Second, they were mo more motivated, especially the students who had no previous interest in the subject in the first place. And lastly, the students reported that they were able to work more independently on their homework than they had been able to previously. In addition, tablets may help students prepare for a world that is technology driven. Learning technology skills earlier in life will help prepare the students in their earlier careers if they're technology related. And why is this important to us? It's important because according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 
Between the year 2010 to the year 2020, the employment in computer and information system is projected to grow in a substantial amount, which is 18%. Now let's review. Today I advise you why tablets can be more beneficial to students in the classroom. I began today's discussion with how we can save money and begin putting more money back into the taxpayers' pockets. Next, I described how using the tablets can help save our planet. And lastly, I provided you with some incentives that both ourselves and our children can personally benefit from, such as health, educational, and career benefits. I feel that like me, you or your children can benefit from the use of tablets in the classroom. So push that two-ton textbook aside and pick up one of these lightweight tablets.